Hi, I'm Mark from ESE Direct. Um, today we're looking at the Sealy Folding Workshop Crane range. Uh, and this particular model we have in front of us is the SC10. So it's a, it's a folding mobile workshop crane. Um, so you, you could either use it in a workshop uh, or a garage or a factory. Uh, and that's really anywhere where you need to lift a really heavy bulky item out of its normal position so that it can be removed to work on or adjustments made and then lowered back into place. Now as you can see, um, it's, it's, it's got a high weight capacity and a big solid construction. But the fact that it's folding uh, means that it can be stowed away so it's not taking up too much workshop or storage space or it can be transported to other locations for, for use there. And the way it folds, uh, which, which I'm not going to actually demonstrate today, is by the removal of these pins, um, the, it, the legs are able to fold vertically and then the lifting jib here uh, collapses down into more of a, a vertical position so it becomes much more compact for storage. But in this situation we're looking at it now, um, the jib is partly raised on this um, hydraulic ram here. Uh, and I'll just demonstrate some more how that actually works. So this is the um, lever handle in its stowed position and it connects um, into the, uh, the pump in this position and um, by pumping on this handle the hydraulic cylinder is working and lifting the jib arm. So normally what you'd have is a, a lifting strop or chain connected from this hook uh, around the item that you want to remove or lift and then with that pumping action you're, you're raising and lifting the, uh, the item to be worked on. Uh, the jib here uh, has three extendable positions and as you can uh, see with the ratings here the further you extend the jib outwards um, the less weight that the, uh, the crane will actually support and lift. So its highest capacity is in with the, the shortest length jib position at uh, 1000 kilos, one tonne. And as you lengthen the jib, uh, so the lifting capacity is derating to 750 kilos, 500 kilos, half a tonne, or 250 kilos, a quarter of a tonne, in its fully extended position. The, the maximum lift height of this particular model is 1,990 uh, millimetres from floor level. Um, obviously, with a, a crane like this, with such a high lifting capacity of one tonne, the construction uh, needs to be really, really solid. So the construction is um, heavy section, uh, mild steel, uh, and we've got it painted in the red finish on, on this model. The weight of the unit, the self weight of the unit, is just 71 kilos. When you're ready to lower the item uh, back into its original position, uh, you just use the handle in a slightly different way. So you connect it to um, this position, and then turning anti-clockwise, you can control the rate that the, uh, the jib is lowering. So we'll just speed that up a little bit, and then you can hold it back off uh, wherever you need it. So you can put it right back into the position you need, hold it there, and then secure your item back in place. There we are. So that's the um, Sealy SC10 
folding workshop crane. There were three other models available in the range other than the SC10. Um, there's the SC10LR, uh, which has uh, extending base legs on it, which, uh, which improves stability, particularly when the jib is fully extended. Um, and both this product, uh, the SC10 and the SC10LR, uh, are delivered in component form, so you need to assemble those yourself. Um, if you want something which is already fully assembled, uh, you should go for our PH10 model, um, which has a similar capacity to this one, uh, a one ton capacity uh, with the shortest jib length, uh, and that comes fully assembled. Um, and then there is a higher capacity, again, of the fully assembled uh, workshop crane, which is the PH20, um, with a maximum lift capacity of two tons. So, if you want any technical guidance on any of these products, just call one of the technical sales guys on the number on the screen and, and we'll be really happy to help you. Um, thank you for watching and see you next time.